Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad Model E14. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can increase the storage on this one or replace the original stock uh, SSD that it comes in here with a higher capacity and much more durable. And I'm gonna go over the capacities and few questions that people keep asking me. You can call Lenovo and the customer service for them is really horrible as they will, if you ask them what the maximum RAM capacity or storage on here, they will tell you 500 or one terabyte. That's far from the truth. You can add easily at two, two terabytes SSDs in here and it will work just like a magic. It will work perfectly fine at max performance. Just remember, once you replace the, the main SSD, you will need to install your Windows Up OS again. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave the link in the video description. I also made another video how to install your Windows on a Lenovo laptop. It takes up to 5 to 10 minutes maximum and you're ready to go. But if you just want to add an extra storage and not to touch to the main storage, you can do that without changing anything on the system. I'll show you both step, both of the configurations in a second. So first thing first, you want to power off. If you want to change the main SSD, back up your files. Now you want to flip it upside down and we're going to grab ourselves two tools that we're going to need. Tool number one, a good screwdriver set. I'll be using iFixit screwdriver set as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you purchase the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening pages and covers. The guitar pick is the same thing that they include with a Pro set, just with a handle. All right. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to loosen up all the screws on the bottom cover. Remember the screws, they have a little C-lock on the other side, so it will not come out entirely. You just, you just have to rotate it until you hit that tiny click and just let it go because the screw becomes loose right there. You want to do that to all the screws. So let's do that. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, what do we want to do here? It's to grab the guitar pick, opening to place it in between the bottom cover and the palm rest. Just like that, and we want to separate it. And you want to work yourself on the side, just a little bit. Once you have a little opening right there, you want to hold it like that, and you want to open it up. There's a tiny clip in the middle, so the hook. So you want to hold the palm rest with one finger and just lift it up, bring it up, and just really hard and loosen up. Once you are in a 45 degree angle, you don't want to yank anymore. All you want to do, you want to put your finger right in here and put another finger right on the hinge and bring it up this way. From the side, from the side, bring it up. The hook that I talk about is this one in the middle right there. So this hook actually grabs from the battery right there, so it just doesn't let go. All right, now there's a little time up pad in here to help to cool down the SSD right here. So down here we can see the extra SSD NVMe slot right away here, and they do actually provide you with a screw, so you need to remove this screw to add the N NVMe SSD. Let me see if I have one on, on hand right now to demonstrate. I don't have an NVMe on hand, but the NVMe's, they do come with one notch on them. This is an N M.2 SATA, so it has two notch. If you purchase yours, I recommend you guys to grab the NVMe Samsung 980 Pro. They are really durable. You can get a two terabyte or one terabyte version. These are one of the best NVMe's out there. You grab this one, you can see it has only one notch on it. With uh, one notch. But if this one has two, just for demonstration, you want to install it. You want to bring it towards the beam in 45 degree angle. And you want to push it until it clicks in and bring it down towards the motherboard and make sure the screw matches right there, the screw hole. And the last thing is down here to put the screw right on top and it will keep it in place. So that's how you add the uh, extra storage in case you want to, to remove it. 
simply remove this screw, bring it up in 45 degree or 15 degree and pull it back. There you go. And you do not need to remove the battery to do this upgrade, it's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are paranoid and they want to do this, all you need to do to disconnect the battery is grab this flip thing right here and pull it towards the battery and that's the way you can disconnect it. To put it back in, make sure evenly goes inside the jack all the way. All right, so this is the extra expansion for the SSD. And the main SSD is right away here. This one is a shorter one. This is a long standard SSD, and this is a short one. I'll leave the link for the shorter one. To remove, there's only one screw. Remove the tiny screw, and bring it down in 10, 15 degree, and pull it out. It's kind of, you can pull it out by finger holding the chip right there, because it has a little thermal pads on the back. You can remove this and put it on the new one. You don't really need the thermal pads on them. You're not gonna lose any performance or anything. So this is an NVMe, you can see how it has one notch here. This one, this motherboard is meant for this one, but they never put a screw right there for it. So you can plug it right there and that's it. And bring it back. But this one doesn't have any screw. If it doesn't have a screw, that's why you can put a double-sided tape here, it holds from here. But there's no reason for you to use this one in here as you have a screw and a screw hole to hold the standard size NVMe. And if you wanna replace this one, just again, same thing, bring it down in 45 degree inside the jack, all the way in, push it towards the motherboard, make sure you hit, you see that screw hole right there. And what you wanna do, you just wanna screw it down. There we go. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. And to finish it off, all you need to do is to grab the cover, Bring it on top, push it down, push the middle, make sure you grab the hook, push the side a little bit, those tiny click sounds. And the last thing is to tighten up the screw. Also, if you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.